Hello and welcome to Retro Bikes. So today we're looking at a Suzuki DR650. We've had him before, it's been given into us again as a trade-in uh, and there's been a lot of work carried out on the bike. Uh, it's had a full bottom end rebuilt entirely. Uh, so the bottom end is brand spanking new. It's had rear chain and uh, rear chain put on it. It's had uh, a brand new rear tire fitted. It's also had uh, Oxford heated grips fitted. It has a hydraulic uh, clutch on it, or assisted clutch, I guess, to make the clutch nice and light, as on these singles they can go a bit tough. And you can see that down here. Uh, it's had all the fluids, brake, it's had braided hoses fitted on it, rear pads, uh, new rear pads fitted as well. And uh, overall, it's a runner. And uh, it's as it is, I'm going to show you all the little things that are kind of cosmetically there. But in the front here, front tire is good, front mud guard is good as well. The gaiters here are good, front headlamp, non original indicators, as you can see here, and uh, front shield backed out. The shocks at the front are actually in nice condition. You have a little bit of um, you know, um, rock chipping coming up from the road. Bash plate is actually decent. Engine is showing some signs of aging. The right hand side, you have a couple of these little things going on scrapes in the stickers. Could do with a new sticker kit, and I think it would refresh the bike very nicely. Up over the top, the tank isn't too bad. Renthal bars on it, mirrors are good. The seat is actually in nice condition. Tiny little uh, blemish here in the rear of the seat other than that pretty good rear rack and back box holder if you want to put a rear back box on it exhaust muffler again we're going around the rear 1991 bike so that will make it what 30 something 33 uh, so we have the 650 dr650 stickering on the here rear pillion pegs again a little bit of aging on the engine all really good around here. You have a few little blemishes around the tank area here. Overall, little things on it. You've got hand guards as well. But uh, that's kind of her. Let's go for a little ride and see what she's like running. Okay, we're on to the next bike, which is our Suzuki DR650. Let's make sure I'm recording. And I am. Electric start on this bike, which is just the best. If you've ever had a big single that's uh, not electric start, then you know why that is. Turn on the bike, it's just ignition on, and press start. How easy is that? I uh, might want to put on a bit of choke. And into first gear. We've fitted a hydraulic uh, clutch to her. Because she uh, makes it really nice and light, to be honest. Especially in these big signals when you're uh, out doing maybe trials or something, or even in traffic. You have those. Uh... Oh dear. You have those um, times when you're just in and out of the first gear, or changing through the gears the whole time, and it can become heavy and hard on your left hand. But this. Now we're running up. I don't know if you're going to even be able to hear me with that wind. Close my lid. There. And we'll move around. Touch feels really good. Everything riding really nicely. You know, big and shuddery as you'd uh, imagine from a big single like this. And uh, into first gear. Oh, stalled it. There we go. My bad, sorry guys. We need to run it a bit more. I didn't even use the choke to be honest, so <laughs> it's probably my fault. Anyway, up you go, easy as you like. And again, running nicely. Um, again, we have it up for cheap money considering what the bike is. Again, it's had a full bottom end rebuild. And we'll just do a loop here. 
we'll just move around nicely here and there we go around we are and uh, if you have liked the video up until now please do like comment and subscribe what else can i talk about uh, heated grips let's check them heated grips are on and working there that's all good which is nice to have let's check the horn the horn is working indicators at the front there i can see are working but we'll stop and check all that out anyway we'll make sure it's idling nicely we'll make sure yeah we'll make sure everything's all good with the bike just so you know exactly what you're getting and that's what we do here at retro bike sub and you know exactly what we're getting what you're getting um nothing more nothing less and just complete transparency between a uh, dealership and uh, potential new owner and uh, it just makes everything easier for everyone you know i think we were sick of the whole uh, you know the whole thing of dealerships are out to try and get you that's just not true at all you know the, that's the, the least what a dealership wants is actually anyone coming back at all they want easy quick easy transaction everyone to be happy and we all move on and uh, we all get a good experience that's exactly what every dealership wants well any honest dealership like us and uh, there you have it anyway dr650 i stalled it so my bad about that um we have uh, everything working on the bike let's go and run through it let's start with the front right indicator you can see there sorry working and the rear right indicator working going to the left hand side we have again you'll see that left indicator at the rear working and a left indicator at the front working hand guards everything like that uh, lights are on at the front and they are working as well so all lights everything like that i'll check the rear brake light for you guys you can see that i don't know if you're gonna be able to make it out but that is also turning on uh, we'll check the rear as well yes okay so you have everything there on and working uh neutral light here working uh everything else high beam lights yes that's turning on there as well all the electrics everything like that starting stopping riding going through all the gears idling uh she's ready to rock so that's been the suzuki dr650 if you have enjoyed the video please do leave a like comment and subscribe and uh, i'll see you in the next one